my books usually begin with pages and pages of handwritten notes, lists, and doodles. These sketches are called thumbnails. They're a kind of shorthand, and they let me try out lots of different layout ideas very quickly. As I'm working on thumbnail layouts, I'm also doing research. I have lots of books about animals in my studio. I also search libraries, bookstores, and the internet for information and images. I want to include an Indian rhinoceros in the book, so I collect reference, photos and illustrations in books, and rhino pictures I find on the internet. I spread out these reference images and sketch my own version of the rhino. The sketch will become a template for making a cut paper illustration. I make several Xerox copies of the sketch. Now it's time to choose paper for the rhino. I keep most of my papers in a large flat file arranged by color. I pull out a few possible papers for the rhino. Next, I cut a window in one of the Xerox copies with an X-Acto knife. This is the adhesive film that I use to glue down the pieces of a collage. I peel off a protective backing sheet and press the film onto the back of the gray paper I'll use for my rhino. I move the Xerox copy around until I find a section of the gray paper that I like. Using the window I cut earlier as a guide, I cut out the first piece of the rhino. The adhesive film makes it very sticky, so I place it temporarily on a silicone-coated paper that it won't adhere to. The sections of the rhino are placed one by one on a piece of board until I have a finished collage. The rhino is mounted with a few other illustrations for the book. As the illustrations are finished, I scan them, use a computer layout program to combine them with my text, and print out proofs of each page. I tack the proofs to a whiteboard in my studio. The board makes it easy to try out different page layouts and sequences. And of course, my assistant needs a reward for all his help. A few months after sending the art, text, and layouts to my publisher, I get a set of printer's proofs showing just what the printed book will look like. At this stage, I can still make a few changes to the text and images. Finally, almost two years after starting the project, I have a finished book.